helping you take control to live life with a new perspective. Living your best life every day. Intentional Living with KLBK's Terry Furman. Sponsored by Sanders Funeral Home. Weight is a major influencer of a person's overall health, which may be why more than 48% of Americans named losing weight as their top New Year's resolution last year. When our weight increases, it also raises our risk of a host of conditions, such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease, and more. And despite the health implications of carrying a few extra pounds, Dr. Drew Payne, an internal medicine practitioner at Texas Tech Physicians, says being overweight is viewed as a cosmetic flaw rather than a disease. In this week's Intentional Living, our Terry Furman finds, finds out that misconception is a reflection of how society defines obesity and views people who are overweight. Obesity is a disease process, it's not a um, cosmetic state. With the new year comes resolutions for weight loss, but what exactly is obesity? So when we talk about obesity, we don't say that a person uh, is obese. We say a person has obesity, just like they would have hypertension. So we measure obesity kind of standard, uh, use a standard uh, that's called a BMI, body mass index, which is your height uh, and your weight. Dr. Payne tells us what the levels are of BMI. BMI is really 25 to 30 is what we consider overweight. Then 30 to 35 is obesity class one, and then 35 to 40 is obesity class two, and anything above 40 we consider class three obesity. Uh, you know, when we talk about um, weight and health, the big thing is that the higher your weight is, or the higher your BMI is, the higher your risk for cardiovascular disease, uh, for uh, pulmonary disease, for joint problems, for um, cancer, all these things start to rise. He also gives us some recommendations on how to lose weight. You should practice some sort of accountability with someone. So find a partner, whether that's your primary care physician or, or someone at the house that is, is going down this weight loss journey with you. Um, I suggest that if you fall into the overweight uh, category or above, then that's probably the time in which you should seek out a primary care physician to help you with this weight loss journey. And when talking about losing weight, what about exercise? When is it okay to start exercising? Uh, it's hard to tell whether uh, exercise is okay for uh, you specifically without um, sitting down and doing a physical with your primary care physician. So if you are trying to get back into exercising, uh, you, the first step should be to establish that relationship with your, with your primary care doctor and um, have your annual physical done. Then 30 minutes five times a week is really what I recommend. A sad truth though, men have an easier time losing weight than women. Yeah, so men do have an easier time losing weight than women. And that mainly revolves around hormones. Uh, if you look at uh, the development of, of males and females up until puberty, they really have about the same body mass index and um, uh, percentage of muscle mass. It's really after puberty things change. So men do, unfortunately for, for women, uh, lose weight a little easier.